Hi, I'm Sebastian Copeland, and I would like to take you on a journey. For the last 30 years, I've traveled the most extreme regions of our world, but transformations happen here faster than anywhere else with far-reaching consequences. In fact, this is ground zero for climate change, affecting the biodiversity and melting the ice faster than ever. One more reason why it is imperative to decarbonize. In this episode, I'm going to explore how Audi is pushing towards a sustainable future. Come on, let's get informed. Rüdiger, can you explain to me a little bit what Mission Zero is? So Sebastian, Mission Zero, you know, is our program that bundles all our measures and activities worldwide concerning environmental issues in all our production sites. That's why we focus on the four main challenges of the century. It's decarbonization, you know, climate change, water usage, resource efficiency and biodiversity. And so, and what about energy consumption? How is it different today than it was when you started? For example, here in the paint shop, we have lower baking temperatures. Then we close circles with the air. And it's the engineering, it's digitalization to reduce energy consumption in the paint shop. So what is uh, the overall strategy on this? Our overall strategy is to be CO2 neutral on balance in all our production sites globally by 2025. How does Audi save water in its production and its operations? So the first thing, as you said, is save water to economize water, to optimize our process. That's why we use this beautiful technology here from the membrane bioreactors in Ingolstadt. Then we use rainwater and we think in circles. We recycle water, but we have also highlight projects in other plants like in Mexico. We are the first wastewater-free production plant. Really technology for the environment. Malte, when we talk about a holistic approach to decarbonization, what does that mean? We take into account the whole life cycle of the vehicle. The supply chain, logistics, in-house production, the use phase of the vehicle, and the end of life of the vehicle. For example, use phase, the main hotspot of CO2 emissions is what is the energy that you're charging your vehicle with. So addressing this with renewable energy, you are addressing this CO2 hotspot. Well, speaking of energy strategies, what is the infrastructural approach to, uh, to this plan? We need new generation of renewable energy. We cannot just use the renewable energy that is already in the market. We have new consumers with our electric vehicles, so we are signing contracts with the electric energy producers to put five terawatt hours into the European market from 2021 until 2025. That is equivalent to around 250 installed windmills on onshore. What a contrast. We are literally on the rooftop of a car manufacturer here. Can you tell me a little bit about how this came together? Yes, I can tell you biodiversity, as you can see here, is an important pillar of our environmental strategy, Mission Zero. Without biodiversity, there's no life on Earth. Right. As I told you, you can measure CO2 consumption, you measure water consumption, but how to measure biodiversity? And that's why we developed a biodiversity index. So we have clear goals, we have clear roadmaps, and we can make progress visible. For example, in our foundation, our first project was planting forests in all our production sites. Mm -hmm. And we did it together with the Technical University of Munich. Munich yeah. We are doing science on how they grow in different climate zones. This is where all the energy is, right? <laughs> yes, this is the beginning point. It radiates from, from here. This is one of the test areas uh, within the International Oak Forest Project from the Audi Environmental Foundation. And it's planned to follow it up for 100 years. That's the starting point, yeah. And the idea is to learn from the trees and to see how productivity and biodiversity come together. How many of those projects are there around the world? Around the world we have seven plots. It's about more than 100,000 oaks that we have planted. But what was, what's the configuration of the trees here? Yes, it's a certain layout and there are in each wheels, 14 rings and 18 spokes. In all together, 252 oak trees in each wheel. And you can simulate a lot of growing conditions. The, the oak is known as to have a high potential to, to storage carbon. And the main question of the project is how to plant future forests to bind as much carbon as possible and 
at the same time they have a lot of place of biodiversity. Oaks are, are well known for how strong and how persistent they are. They can live up to 1000 years. So this project, what we are speaking about, is practically nothing compared to the lifespan of oaks. And does the foundation act with autonomy? The Audi Environment Foundation is a 100% subsidiary of the Audi AG, but mm -hmm. it's, it's a non-profit organization. So we can make our own decisions. Keep on growing. We need you. So, Hudega, can you tell me where the shadow is coming from? It's coming from a tree, and this tree is from a big remediation project. So here we stand on the ground of an old refinery. The first thing we found here were 900 tons of heavy oil and 200 tons of gasoline. And now you can see it's a high-tech campus. Here we will develop a green technology, e-mobility with autonomous driving and going forward into the future. So how do you begin to clean soil? We washed more than 600,000 tons of soil here with a big washing machine, nearly 20 meters high. Incredible. How long does that take? It took uh, six to seven years now. What was your personal motivation? So my personal motivation was incredible high because as environmental officer, such a project is unique in your life. Well, I think you have a second career there, Rudiger. <laughs> <laughs> this project of the rickshaw is a collaboration between the technical development department of Audi uh -huh. and between our project partner in India and it's also a collaboration with our apprentices. And what we do is green innovation, that means scientific methods and new technologies. The batteries come from old Audis, e-tron batteries. And if you want, it's a decarbonization project, a recycling project, and it's a social project for the women in India. Outstanding. Do you think that um, we have a chance of turning this around? I'm very optimistic. I think we don't have a choice. We have to fight every day. We have to improve. We have to do new measures. And you know, Sebastian, we want to be engineers of optimism.